Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another example. That is example 4. Based on the 300 parabolic arches. So, our today's concept based on the temperature stresses in arches. So, already in the last three example, we completed based on the 300 parabolic arches which is both at symmetrical and unsymmetrical levels. And another example based on the circular arches. Okay, but today, our concept is totally based on the temperature stresses in arches. So, this is the solved example. Maybe this type of problems coming for two marks questions in your semester examination. So, entire things will be given in the question itself. Just to have to substitute in the formula. So, how this formula can be obtained? You see small clarification based on the diagrammatic representation. So, this is a 300 parabolic arch where hinges at both A and C which is at the abutment levels and another hinge at the cone position C. So whenever there will be any effect in temperature, any effect of temperature in this type of parabolic arches due to the hinge at this central position, a 3 hinged arch will simply change its central rise. A 3 hinged arch will simply change its central rise. If there is expansion or contraction due to change in the temperature. For example, if there is an increase in the temperature, it will expand it to C to C1. If there will be any con uh, drop in the temperature means, maybe it will decreases from C to C2, uh, C to C2, which is denoted with notation. So, I will clearly shown in the given example. So, due to the changes in the temperature, increase in the temperature, so there will be an expansion of C to C1 and due to drop in the temperature, there will be an expansion from this C2, uh, there will be contraction from this C2, C2, okay. So, this is the formula for the, this C, C1 and C, C2, okay. For due to changes in the, temp uh, based on the changes in the temperature, for the expansion and contraction, there will be only one formula just the values will be changes where L is the length of the span, Y is the central rise and alpha and T based on the expansion and changes in the temperature. Okay. So, you please just remember this formula. This formula will be derived by using this diagrammatic representation. But for the examination purpose, you no need to derive this one. You just simply take down the formula, remember the formula and take down this formula and substitute in the and substitute the values for obtaining the result. See here, a 3 hinged parabolic arch has a span of 24 meters. A 3 hinged parabolic arch has a span of 24 meters. A to B. It is from A to B. So, here hinge is not mentioned. See here, A, C, B. This is a 3 hinged parabolic arch has this span from A to B, it is at a distance of 24 meters. Take down given data, L equal to 24 meters. And a central rise from this bottom line to the C, exactly from the C, what is its central rise? Its central rise is given as 8 meters. So, where YC is taken as 8 meters or else you can take R also. Okay. The body of the arch is fabricated from rolled steel section. So, entire this body of the arch is fabricated from the rolled steel sections. Find the change in central rise. So, what is the change in central rise? If they are asking it change, uh, changes in temperature, changes in central rise means um, what happens? First one, see the one, first one, due to an increase in temperature. So, due to an increase in temperature of 30 degree centigrade. So, whenever T equal to 30 degree centigrade, so due to increase in temperature, what is its central rise? And due to drop in temperature, where T equal to 20 degrees, what is its central rise? Okay, see here, T value is also taken and alpha value also is given in the question itself that, that equal to 12 into 20 to the power of minus 6 per degree centigrade, where C, C1, this one, where this C from central rise to the increase due to increase in the temperature. So, you have to take in that one C, C, C1, due to the drop in the temperature, take down this one as the C, C2, okay, that one will be equal to the formula will be L square plus 4YC power uh, YC square divided by 4YC into alpha T. Okay. What is L? Length of the span which is given uh, in the question itself. 24 plus what is it, uh, this 4 value is taken as it is and YC is its central rise that is uh, 8 meters which is given in the question itself. Again 
divided by 4 into yc is 8 into alpha is given in the data itself 12 into 10 to the power of minus 6 per degree centigrade at the same time where t due to the increase in the temperature we are taking this 30 degree centigrade that one will be equal to 9.36 mm up and at the same time drop in the temperature so entire values will be same here you just change t value that is 20 degrees so you just change the t value here take down 20 here and you will get this result that is 6.24 mm so whenever there will be effect of temperature changes in the temperature increase in the, for increase in the temperature what happens from a from this bottom line to center it will be 8, eight meters rise so whenever there is an change in the temperature that is increase in the temperature what happens this yc increases from 8 to 9.36 mm so if there will be any drop in the temperature the central rise drops to 6.24 mm so that is the concept here so if there will be any effect of temperature stresses in the arches means the three hinge arches will simply changes its central rise due to the change in the temperature it may be expanded or contracted okay so you please remember this type of uh, examples will be mostly coming in your semester examination so this is very simple concept i hope you understand this concept so friends if you really like this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe my channel thank you so much